Welcome back to Modern Application Development 2 Screencast. In this second screencast, we'll continue with uh, our previous experiment of building a calculator using just HTML and JavaScript. In the last episode, we built a small, uh, you know, uh, calculator with just text box and one button. In this uh, screencast, we'll try to replicate uh, calculator that looks almost like the built-in calculator in the operating system. Here is the one that I have uh, running on my Ubuntu. We'll try to make it similar uh, by using grids in Bootstrap and then, you know, we'll attach functionality to it and see how it works. I will not complete this task. I will do three fourths of it or like 60% of it and leave the 40% of it for you to continue and complete. So it works like an exercise for you. Okay. So here is where we did, uh, uh, here is what we did last time. We have the calculator running. It's running fine. We're doing calculations. It's working. Now we're going to do um, somewhat like this. So we first we'll, we'll just try to do some bit of UI to look uh, like this. Right. So basically, we will not do this column. We'll just do four by four, um, and add, and and a text box on the top. So here we have a grid system with only one row. I'm going to keep that first row and um, add three more rows uh, to actually uh, give more buttons to us. So just to start with, I'm just going to create another row like that. Um, and somewhat similar structure. So I'll just copy the whole row, right? And remove this here, input. We don't need input, we don't need a uh, log here. Uh, we just need a button. Uh, we don't need to give an ID for now uh, because we'll decide what ID it will be later, right? Just remove this, two, three, and four buttons. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, somewhat like that, right? And now I want to actually give the names to the button. Uh, let's say in the top row, it was seven, eight, nine, and division, right? Seven, eight, nine, and division, right? So let's see how it looks. Okay, it looks okay. Now I don't want lock to be here. I want the lock to be at the bottom. So we don't have to put it within the row. We can create a last row and then put that there. So let's create one more, you know, final row. Just put more space here. Uh, remove everything else and just keep only log, right? And then I'll remove the log from here. Okay. So if you see now, okay. Uh, that's gone. This calculator button here, we'll remove that as well. But you know, log is gone down. So let's add one more, uh, two more rows, right? Um, you know, to add the rest of the numbers and stuff. So let's add one more row, and that will contain four, five, six, and multiplication. Four, five, six, and star. So multiplication, you can also give x. Um, and then one, two, three minus one, two, three minus the last row is zero dot. And I'll make this instead of percentage, I'll just make it equal so that, uh, actually we need plus as well. So we can do plus and equal, right? Z uh, let's copy this. And say zero and then dot and then let's do equal and let's do plus right. okay it's not exactly the same but somewhat similar that you can see here uh, what you can just uh, reset to see where, how it looks it looks much better if you reset uh, the correct thing but we can adjust the things later um okay let's do one more thing 
let's move this calculate because it's not required we are attaching the same thing to the uh, equal button right so remove this so there you go so that's the thing you can adjust a bit of uh, values here i actually want spaces before and after uh, like that um, like this around the button so you know button looks better right um for now i won't do but you can do that i also want to change the color of these buttons uh action buttons this so we can just check in the grid uh, button colors uh bootstrap button colors okay let's go here so let's make it yellow so i'll just make it button button warning right let's make it button and button warning okay this will be button warning again button warning uh, button warning yeah so if i go back here so they have become yellow and this also button warning okay let's make this as green or red so you know that's the one to click oh success it's better to have green than a red okay equals will make it as red equals okay mm, where is it yeah okay so this is the one which will evaluate this is the one which are the numbers and stuff like that these are the operations that we support we can add other buttons like clear cancel backspace etc etc i can add one more row here um yeah so exercise now two things that we need to do um most important thing is you know attach events to these number buttons that when you press number your number gets added here and uh, when you click click an operator the operator gets added here and when you click equal to it gets calculated so that's what we want to do yeah so let's write one function called input number right so this i think we can use the same as calculate button right i think uh, that should be straightforward this equal uh, if i make id equal to calculate and that should work let's see if i give uh, 4 by 5 and click on equal yeah so that's working um okay so now we'll have to attach events to these number buttons so let's do that okay let's write a function called uh input number so it takes a number v and then inputs it to this area right so you can get that current expression by using this right so it will be current expression will be this then you know expression becomes expression plus plus here is concatenation of v and then i'm going to set back this value equal to expression right so let's see whether this is working mm, semicolon is not compulsory but sometimes i do give okay we can try it out from here oh like say i want um, so the whole thing of eval both in math js and in just uh, regular javascript evaluates it needs string whole expression as string so i'm sending number as also as string here so the expression becomes string okay 
uh, it's not working okay we didn't refresh okay now if I do uh, let's say 65 okay it's adding so we don't need uh, so you can also do like you know 6 again so it becomes 656. Six. So if you click multiple times, the number gets entered. So now we can attach this to all of our number buttons. So I'm just going to uh, add it to one here for on click button, right? So here I'm going to send seven. Seven, eight, nine, right? I'm not going to do for all of it okay so if i refresh this so seven nine a seven eight nine should be able to be added so you know that's working now i'll just do similar thing for the operator right uh similarly input operator so operator i'll consider it as o Similarly, I'll add it O and then expression is expression. So I add input operator here. Let's add input operator uh, division, right? Uh, on click input operator division, right? So similarly, you can add multiplication here okay so let's refresh this so like 7 divided by 8 equal to 0 0.875 so that part is working so this is how you build actually next level of calculator so there are uh, ways to optimize it you can make it look better uh, you can add cancel button clear button backspace button those are the things that you can improve so like for example you can do following things uh, one clear right clear functionality just make it large uh, clear and then to uh, backspace right and then I have not handle uh, dot or the point uh, decimal point so you can handle that Mm. so three decimal point four you can make it look better I, th I don't think it looks great so you can make it look better bring the size of this down to back to this give some space between the rows uh, make it uh, all of them same size by adding you know spaces and stuff like that um, you know what you can do is make it look good fifth one you can is optimize the add listeners part here you know it's too much of work add to each one of them you can optimize it uh, by probably initializing everything inside the initialize app you can do many other ways but you know this shouldn't be a problem either this also works and then you can add another couple of functionalities of this x square and especially the bracket ones because it's important you know no operation precedence you can do that um, things like that you can add uh, and experiment and build upon what we've done until now and that's it that's the end of the screencast thank you for listening and watching